Right, nice little easy job today. I'm going to make a little mini vice stop out of this. A couple of bits of uh, dowel and an M5 screw. First job is to mill out the centre, which will be the not necessarily the width, I'm doing it 10 mil, these are about 11 I think. Um, so I'm going to mill out the centre and then it's going to be cut down the centre on the bandsaw so that's going to reduce it even more by the time I've cleaned it up and everything. In fact I might change that bit for a 12 mil on account of that. Yeah, I'm just going to change that bit out for a 12 mil and then I'll be back. Right, I've got a 12 millimetre bit in there now. I've got the table centred, so I'm going to cut the groove out in the centre and then I'll drill the holes and everything and uh, then I'll, when I've nearly done I'll, I'll split it on the bandsaw. Right, just in case you're interested, I've taken about half a millimetre depth cut, that's about um, 10 thou I think for my American friends. eventually sit on there like that. Um, just going to drill a couple of holes now for the dowel pins and the um, centre hole for the um, thread tap. I'm going to drill those. I've deliberately left this in one piece. I could have made it in two pieces but I think if I keep it in one piece then that gives me excellent concentricity on the dowel pin holes and everything will stay aligned. That's the first hole drilled. What's that? 13, won't it? Yeah. These are the holes for the dowel pins, by the way. for the dowel pins. Hopefully they shouldn't uh, quite fit. No, nope. that's as far as that goes. Right, they're going to be a treat that is. What I'm going to have to do once I've cut this, I'm going to have to just uh, drill these, this half, drill a slightly uh, clearance hole. I'll go up 0.1 of a millimetre for the clearance hole just to hold the uh, so that so this part can slide on the dowels. So now I need to get the hole drilled for the screw. Right, 
right, I'm going to drill that out. That's a number 10 24. Um, it's a number 10 24 TPI thread. Um, I thought it was an M4, but uh, it's not. So that's 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 the only bolt I've got that'll fit. So I'll tap that out for that. So. And that's a 3.9 millimeter drill because I haven't got a number 10. Right, it's got that drilled out. Right, can take that out now. Okay, that's the. Uh, we've got all the holes in there now. Um, what I'm going to do now is cut it down the center to separate it on the bandsaw. Bring it back, clean up those faces, put the dowels in, tap the thread in. Anyway, you'll see all that. All right, ten six one, which is half of the width. Mark a line down the centre and then over to the bandsaw and cut that through. As expected, that's getting a bit warm. Skim the top off those. Right, I'll just uh, deburr those and uh, then we can get the dowel pins in. Right, there we go, got the uh, two separate pieces now. Um, I'm just going to tap the hole in the, this one and put the dowels in. Right, I'm just going to recenter the piece so I can uh, put that thread in. Got a little dowel pin in there. There we go, we're back on centre, set the DRO, and we're good to go.
Perfect. Perhaps I'm just going to have to just try and start them with the hammer, maybe. Give them a little tap just to get them going. Try that. Get them aligned as much as possible. Let's find that uh, hole. Right, this is the uh, the clearance hole for the uh, bolt. Time for a bit of assembly. There we go. And the bolt. So that slides in there, which controls the movement. The bolt goes in there. And this is how it works. Okay, it's clamped on there. And use it as a stop like that. So your your workpiece will go up to it like that. And uh, whatever you're working on. So you so you're milling something on the end here, or whatever. You've got a a stop, quite a you know, quite a nice, neat little stop. Obviously, I've got the big stop on the back if I've got a a big piece in here or something like that. But if you've just got a small piece in there. And this is an ideal little clamp that goes on there that works as a stop. Might just cut these pins down a bit, I don't know. 
Um, thing is, if I leave them long, it gives me a bit more scope if I want to clamp on them um, something else. For example, if I wanted to clamp on this, which is is wider, then uh, I can still clamp on there. Use it as a stop on this little vice. I've got some other little vices. I'm not going to get them all up here. I don't use them very often, as you can see, but. That's a, sort of a, a multi-use little clamp. You could even, you know, you can e even use it as a, a clamp on uh, your workpiece. If you've got something repetitive from the other side, you can put it in the vise like that to stop. Flip your workpiece over, put it in the vise to do it from the other side. If you've got something symmetrical you want to do, but it's an ideal. Ideal little clamp. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.